everybody Ruben with Texas all water fishing don't forget to like comment and share and hit that subscribe button as well but hey yesterday I went with a friend of mine I met up with a friend of mine just before sunrise and we decided because the water has been looking so good in Galveston and so flat we have just been waiting for the right time for cleaner greener water to move in to hit the surf and do a little wade fishing originally our plan was to meet up and get some live shrimp unfortunately all the bait shops were out of live shrimp and yes we soaked a little bit of croaker but anyway watch this video from yesterday watching us hit the surf we hit a couple of spots weight fish a couple of spots kind of bar hopping is what i call it when we hop from sandbar to sandbar spot to spot so check this so check out the footage from yesterday and don't forget hang on to the end come right back to me and i'm gonna go over a couple of tips and a couple of ways how i look at the surf and determine for myself when is a good time to go out there Shark or red? What is it, Eric? What does it feel like? Oh yeah, it's a shark. Oh, he gone. Well, that's the first shark. We ain't had a shark all day. So we fished a few hours over here in Galveston, and there just wasn't a lot of activity. We've had a few hits, and we saw some bait popping, look like shad popping on the surface. We had we each had a few more hits and a few more tugs bringing the cork underneath the surface, but it just look, looked like smaller fish. And I got my line slimed a few times where it looked like most likely it was gonna be it was gonna be gaff top out there. You can see that bluer and that cleaner water out there. It's about four to five hundred feet off the shoreline, but just obviously too far to cast and just way too far to try to walk out and wade. So we packed it up and went down further down the coastline to see if we could find some cleaner and clear water and see if we could hook up. Hey. All right, so we came a little further. We came a little further south to Surfside. And it looks like we are in greener water, a little clear water out here. Me and Hank, I mean Eric. So wish us luck. We're gonna see if we can get on them. See if they're here. Gonna switch over, have my hat cam here, so the audio is probably gonna be a little off, but it's all good. There we go. That's a good spec. A real good one. There we go. Woo. Nice. What second cast out here? Nice guy right here. Oh yeah, he bought sixteen. Yes, Don't keep him. Okay. You scared? Why you holding onto my net? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hold your hand. Uh -uh. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. You feel a jerk, baby. <laughs> well, 
almost there. We're probably like maybe about 15 feet away. Oh, yeah. This is start coming up here in a second. You see? It already started coming up. Get it. It just did. It just did. I'm not having to jump as high. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> My feet are crapping up for being up. I took my toes for so long. There we go. We are there. Oh, we are at the second cut. Oh, Eric can breathe again. Oh. Eric can breathe again. Okay, so I'm baiting my hook, right? My hook is just sitting there, and I had a fish come by and get himself snagged. What is that? He did. He did try to hit it. It's in his mouth. That's a, that's a jack. That's a little pompano. A little pompano tried to hit my hook. Little guy. Oh. Well, as you saw, Eric and I hit a couple of different spots. We started the day out near Pirates Beach, Jamaica Beach, that area out there, doing a little wade fish. I call it bar hopping when you kind of go from sandbar to sandbar, spot to spot. So we were doing a little bar hopping yesterday. The surf in that area on Galveston was a lot dirtier than what was forecast. So after the sun came up and we weren't getting too much, we moved and went over the San Luis Bridge and went closer to Surfside to Surfside Beach. Now, I don't know where these specific locations are. I didn't pin drop them or anything like that. I just kind of just drove and just kind of ducked in here and there so I could find a place where the clearer water came all the way to the beachfront and to the beach. So that being said, I'm going to switch over here and I'm going to show you on the computer some of the apps that I use, some of the websites I use to get that forecast for the surf to see when is a best target time for me to get out there, for me to try to maximize my fishing trip to assure me that I'm going to get out there when the water is clear and the water is a little more flat and easier to manage and definitely easier to hook up. Okay, now this is swellinfo.com. Now, on this website, there is location search up here on top where you can search and look for different areas that are, different places, I'm sorry, different locations that are in your area. Now, I'm going to just quickly take a look at Galveston, Galveston, Texas. Now, looking at this swell information, you can see here that today is Thursday, August 6th. And you can see here that the surf is completely and totally flat. Right here, if you scroll the cursor through, I also have this on my phone as well. I have this saved to my home screen so I can access it to my phone. If, is there an app? I don't know. There might be an app out there. I really hadn't searched. I just, like I said, I saved the website to my phone, to my home screen. So I just click on it from, a, you know, the little shortcut uh, button on my screen, on my home screen, on my phone. So you can see here as you run your cursor through, it shows you the time and the day. And you can just scroll it through right here. Now, is this an accurate forecast? I don't know. Is the weatherman accurate? Is any apps on your phone accurate? Are your wind apps accurate? I mean, it's about as accurate as any as those other ones. I would say the ratio of accuracy is somewhere between 70 and 80 percent. A lot of times there's a lot of factors that go into the water clarity. If you look right here, it shows that today at seven in the morning, you have fair water and then it moves to clean water around 11 so or was it earlier than that yeah around 11 so that's kind of what i use you know you got to take this forecast and stuff like that kind of with a grain of salt because they're not etched in stone there is sometimes when it is showing that it's going to be this clear and this this clean i mean tomorrow friday it is there's no surf at all and you can see all the way through the weekend so the weekend is looking good as far as the water clarity, when it starts getting a Saturday and Sunday, it's looking a little more red, so it's going to be a little more choppy. What that's going to mean is that the water clarity is going to be a little more brown, or it's going to be really brown. Right here, it has the height. This is about a one-foot chop. 
So that means the water surface to the top of the chop or the top of the swell or the top of the wave is going to be about one foot. Right here, it is showing that it is there is no chop, no swell at all. Clear, clean just means what it says. It is very clean. There's not a lot of settlement in the water. It's very clear. You can probably see your feet standing somewhere, maybe around your waist to your mid thigh area. You could see your your feet because the water would be that clear. And fair just means what it says. It's not too good, not too bad, but a lot of those a lot of those desirable fish will be in that cleaner and fairer water in that green olive green to the well let's put it like this the more clean the water is the more chances and likability you have to catch some of those fish that you're seeking out there those nice big speckled trout some big nice reds some big nice flounder even spanish mackerel even jacks when you have that cleaner and clearer water those fish will chase those baits and come in so am i saying you're going to catch a spanish mackerel from the surf i'm not saying that at all what i'm saying is you can use these tools this information out there to help you determine what day is best for you to maximize yourself so for this information right to this telling me if i have the opportunity to go out today and right now or to go out on Sunday, I would pick today just because this water looks so forecasted to look so good. Now let's see, let's find out. My buddy Eric lives in Galveston and is often on the surf. Now I didn't tell him I was going to call him. This is kind of a surprise call. So we're going to see. Maybe he'll pick up, maybe he won't. We'll see if he answers. Hopefully y'all can hear it. What's going on, brother? Hey man, what's going on, brother? Man, I, you know, I, I'm hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me All say right. one thing. You you are live on YouTube, okay? Huh? You are live on YouTube. The camera's in front of me. The mic is on. We can hear you talk. Yeah. So don't give away your secret spots, Eric. Okay. Just okay. give <laughs> us your 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 surf forecast. What's what's that surf looking like? Man, it is brown, brown, brown. <laughs> <laughs> the because because it's one of the one the well, well no, no no I'm just saying because one of the apps has it as clean today is it clean no. is it fair no it no, is not man it's it's dirty like all the way dirty it is and, um it's it's flat though it's not as it's not flat like it's been but it's it's still flat but what, what are, how big are the man. swells a foot. Maybe maybe a foot. Maybe under a foot somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that part of the that part of the forecast was right, just not the water mm -hmm. clarity. Yeah. The wind right, like there's no wind out here, nothing. It's just the water clarity is horrible. Okay. What? Got a south south southwest wind. All right. It's just making it dirty. What is um? Yeah, that south wind will push and make all that. Yeah, give you more chop. What what is um? What's the what's the fish are the fish biting? Nah, not really. No nah, fish. Um, well, I came down to the East End, and Troy was out there casting shrimp and eager baits. Man, he didn't get a bite on the beach front. Oh, okay. So you didn't fish the beach front? Nah, I came down here fish the East End, and there's a million people out here, and don't nobody have a fish. So. <laughs> <laughs> so today's not a good day to fish, right? thinking about uh, uh yeah. to, today today would have been a good day for me to stay home and and do a video right yep <laughs> you ain't did nothing wrong see so my my youtube forecast was good i don't know about the uh bay now the bay might be all right we're not we're not talking about the bay today eric we're just talking about the okay. surf you got to stay focused <laughs> eric <laughs> You, 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 you're hanging out. You're hang, You're hanging out with me too much. You got to stay focused, Eric. You can't be all over the place. There's a lot of people in this lagoon. Is there? Are they? Yeah, not yeah. a lot. I see three waiters, four waiters. Okay. Well, hey, Eric. Let me let me wrap this video up and I'll call you back. Okay. All right. Bro. Hey, thanks. Right. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Bye. All right. So that's.
That's coming from Eyes On. The fishing forecast wasn't correct. I'm sorry, the surf forecast wasn't correct. The fishing forecast was correct because it says that today is going to be, well, it said it's going to be an average bite. But to me, that means it's a low bite. All right, so I had a friend, uh, another friend of ours out there said he was, Eric wasn't fishing the surf. Eric didn't fish the surf, but another friend was out there, and he said he threw Inger baits as well as live shrimp, and he couldn't even get a bite. So that's how it is in that dirty or water. It's going to be more of a struggle for you to get that bite and to have, and to have good fish activity. Doesn't mean that you can't catch fish out there. Trust me. If you can go out, go fish. I don't care how dirty the water is. If you can go out, go fish. I don't care how choppy the water is. Just get out there and try to hook up. But I hope this information that I'm sharing with you helps you next time you plan a trip. And don't, you know, it is not etched in stone. None of this stuff is etched in stone. I think I've said that several times. Probably maybe I said it way too much. But it's not etched in stone. Sometimes when it's supposed to be dirty, it's supposed to be choppy. I've gotten phone calls from friends of mine. like, man, you need to get out here. This water is clear. This water is flat. The wind shifted. It's not what it was expected to do. And I have ran out there and I've jumped out there and had just outstanding fishing. So, that being said, you know what? I hope this information helps you. Hope it helps you hook up. And thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. To next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.